Thursday was the first day of school for the Nord public school system. The school committee voted for the hybrid option and many changes have been made in the schools to keep the staff and students safe. Here's Principal Dr. Hugh Galligan with a report from Nord High School. Well, today is the first day of official school at Norwood High School and it is so refreshing to have some students back in the building and have our students joining us from home at the same time uh, to resume classes. It's been six months since we've been able to uh, really connect with our students in this way and we are so excited to be doing what we know best and what gives us great joy. Uh, to get here, there was so much work that had to be done from a health and safety standpoint and just getting the building ready uh, uh, for our students both now and as we phase into our full hybrid learning model. So on the first day, it's just so nice to look outside, see a full uh, parking lot full of staff members here uh, ready to go. Um, and and we've, been, we've been itching for this for, for a long, long time. Uh, we welcomed our students that were physically here today with some chalk out front. We had a whole crew of staff members uh, out front yesterday uh, putting welcoming messages on there so they can uh, feel the love as they come on in. And then there was so much uh, physical preparation that had to be done to make this a safe learning environment. Uh, so for the students that have already started, and for the students that will be starting in person over the next couple of weeks, uh, there's so much work that had to be done. So you have to give a shout out to lots of people. First of all, our technology team did a tremendous job over the summer. They had at least eight different uh, opportunities for people to come in and um, swap out their Chromebooks. So they, they were working in the gym, uh, doing contactless uh, exchange of Chromebooks, refreshing them, cleaning them, disinfecting them, and getting new updated Chromebooks out to all our ninth grade students, making fixes for any students that needed it so they could be ready to start with remote and hybrid learning. Uh, you'll see lots of other uh, physical changes to the building uh, to help uh, during this uh, health crisis to keep kids and staff uh, healthy and safe. So in the front office and in other uh, high traffic areas, you would notice plastic dividers uh, to, keep, uh, to keep some separation uh, as you're interacting with our office staff. A huge shout out to our facilities and custodians. Uh, that crew worked all summer long to get this building physically ready. So um, the, the most daunting task was literally removing half of the desks from classrooms. So all of our classrooms are capped at 12 students this year uh, to keep students at least six feet apart in the classroom. Uh, so each class is capped at 12. Typically in a normal school year, we would have about 25, 26 desks in each class. So those desks have been removed. Each class is ready to go and general classrooms are capped at 12. We have that, that new classroom look, right? So there's so much uh, space in there to, to keep uh, everyone safe, to keep uh, staff and students safe, and to keep learning happening at a high level. Uh, on the ground, um, there's gonna be directional arrows. So all of our uh, major traffic hallways are, are one way only this year, and all of our stairways are one way only. So our facilities crew is in here putting nice uh, bright uh, yellow, uh, gold and, and blue uh, decals on the floor so that Students know which way to go. One thing is for sure, everybody's gonna get their steps in this year and get a little bit of an extra workout moving around the building. Uh, we have multiple hand sanitizer stations around the building for staff and students to keep, um, to keep uh, hand washing. You know, we're doing the, the, the three W's are what we've always uh, preached, right? Wearing a mask, which you see uh, I'm doing and you'll see all our staff and students doing um, throughout here at Norwood High School. Uh, watching your distance and making sure we're maintaining that six foot distance uh, to keep ourselves safe. That's happening in the classrooms and elsewhere. And um, wash your hands. So we want to make those three things uh, accessible for everybody in the building. Uh, in line with disinfecting, we have new classroom protocols. Uh, uh, disinfectant wipes, high power disinfectant wipes in each classroom that allow us to disinfect surfaces as needed so that when classrooms change over from one student to the next, that surface is safe to work on. Several other things have, have even happened that are uh, impacting our operations to make that smooth. Morning arrival and drop off. We've had to consolidate that a little bit. So morning arrival will only be between 7.15 and 7.45 now. That spreads out the um, arrival just enough so it's staggered, but also allows to make sure that when students arrive, they have a safe place to go because we can't have people um, congregating and hanging out like, like we used to and like, like we are used to. Um, and then uh, lastly, we have grab and go breakfast stations and grab and go lunch stations to allow for really a smooth pickup for students that are eating. Um, so rather than the typical setup 
where you're serving from individual stations and carrying out a tray. It's kind of a grab and go uh, breakfast and lunch. We might get a bagged pre-made order, still fresh, still from uh, our partner Chartwells and our dining services. They've done a tremendous job. And you will see um, physical distancing markers in high traffic areas to go along with those markers, um, those, those arrows that we talked about earlier. Uh, physical distancing markers in high traffic areas so that if you need to wait for something uh, because offices are capped at uh, capacity, uh, you'll have a safe place to wait at a safe distance. And in the morning, uh, we'll have additional entrance and exit points in the morning and afternoon. Uh, typically, we only go with two of those. We're going to increase that to allow for um, spreading out our traffic flow. And we'll have additional uh, entrance and exit points supervised by adults at arrival and dismissal. Above all, we are so excited to welcome back students, uh, whether it be virtually or in person, uh, back to Norwood High School and for staff and students to be working closely together again. Um, it looks a little bit different than it used to, but at the core of it all, teaching and learning is what we do, and we are so happy to be back doing that. Thank you.